Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's see if this works at all. Um, this is my first time using my new camera, so... Uh, yeah, we'll see. It looks nice, I think. I don't know. Um, I don't really know anything about cameras. So, uh, but yeah, I, it's really nice outside. And I wanted to talk about some stuff that I've been thinking about and I wanted to do it, it's kind of like sad stuff, but I wanted to do it outside because at least it's like nice out. And so even if it's kind of a sad topic, it's still like pretty outside. <laughs> Is that a weird way to couch things? Um, okay, <clears throat> so. So I still get Instagram comments about this and, um, and other comments and uh, I never have talked about it publicly and um, that was for a reason. It's because I wasn't ready to talk about it publicly um, and I apologize for all the noises that are going to happen but I just really wanted to shoot this outside because it's beautiful and uh, I thought that would mitigate some of the sadness of the topic. So my apologies for the noises of the neighborhood. <laughs> Uh, but it kind of adds an ambiance, right? Okay, so um, I'm also not in jail. I'm sitting outside of a garden <laughs> um, So yeah, so uh, in November something very bad happened um, Which is I got broken up with uh, out of nowhere to me. It seemed like I I didn't see it coming. I didn't know Why we were breaking up. I didn't know uh, I just wasn't ready. Um, I didn't want to break up. I had been with this person for almost two years um, and I had, you know, there were indicators that we were going to still be together. I had pictures ready to post on our two-year anniversary and, um, you know, he had bought me Christmas gifts and we had just done a couple's Halloween costume and kind of all these things that indicated that there was like a future. Um, and. I really thought that there was a future. Um, and so when you are broken up with and you don't really have a choice in your future, it's a little rattling. And um, it turns out that if you believe that there's a future, it, it also matters if the other person believes that there's a future. And so, uh, so yeah, so it kind of felt like, so I was, devastated um, and it kind of felt like like withdrawal from a drug like I was just on the floor um, for months and I mean I don't think you would have guessed it from the G the JBU channel I don't think you would have guessed it maybe from some of my other work I, I don't really know if it if it would have come through or if I hit it well um, but there was a long stretch where I was just like not checked in and like not a person. Um, and Allison really took over a lot of writing for the channel and, and doing stuff that we needed to do, um, which God bless her. Uh, and she came with me to um, doctor's appointments and she came with me to my psychiatrist uh, and she left I mean we were supposed to be part of this um, Sundance program and she left and came with me to the ER because I thought I was having a panic attack um, she let me sleep at her place spoiler alert we don't live together um, she let me sleep at her place um, and she was generally like great and my sister was also really 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 helpful and uh, so it was good to have uh, supportive people, namely Allison and my sister, who I think are the, the bedrocks of my support. Um, but yeah, so so I was mad for a long time. and But now I've sort of come to this place where like, I've realized the parts of it that were my fault too. Um, I think when it, a breakup first happens and you're the dumpy, you want to put all the blame on the other person and you don't want to see the parts that are your fault. And looking back now, I can definitely see moments that I was not the best. And it's hard to see those in the direct aftermath because you want to believe that you've been wronged somehow. 
um, and that you're a victim. Uh, but looking back, I, I was not always the best in the relationship. I think I'm very impulsive. I think I'm very com like career driven and I, I put my career over my relationships all the time. Um, I think I wasn't listening. Um, and so what happens when you, when that happens, when you start to realize what the problem was and you start to realize flaws that you showed and then all you can do is like moving forward, do better and, and realize that that's the way you were behaving and, um, and try to in your next relationship not behave that way. And I think this particular relationship was like a really, for better or worse, like a really good learning experience because it taught me that I I can't just assume what the other person is feeling, that I have to ask them and that I have to listen when they tell me, even if I don't like what they're saying. Um, and I also think I, I have to be less quick to anger. Um, I have a lot of like rage problems <laughs> um, and I, I think since the breakup like I've really just stopped feeling angry and I know like you know a lot of my friends I think it's easier to feel anger on your on the behalf of someone else and so like a lot of my friends you know still feel a lot of anger about what happened and I kind of have this like very zen like I've just let it all go and I'm not even angry and I think there's a lot of like good to be said about forgiveness and about real it's like when I in past breakups I've sort of um, felt in past breakups I've felt like I needed to be right and I needed to vindicate sorry my neighbor just came out <laughs> Um, I needed to vindicate, like, the wrong that had been done to me. And now I'm slowly realizing that everyone is a person, and everyone is human, and nobody is perfect, and everyone has, is at fault in some capacity. If the, if the breakup is, you know, not abusive, or if the breakup is, um, you know, I don't know, I, I just think it's healthier to think about what you also did wrong and and everybody is human like you know there's certain things where you just want to dehumanize the person that you broke up with and you want to be like they're a monster and I'm going out with my girls or whatever and um they're sad too and they have their own problems and a lot of my exes now instead of feeling anger I kind of just feel bad for them like I feel sad about the things I learned that were negative, like the things I learned that were like, oh, you really have to work on this and you, I'm, I'm sorry about the stuff that made you not be able to be in a, in a relationship. I don't know if that makes sense, but just like, I, I, everyone's got problems. Everyone's got trauma and, and pasts and, stuff that makes them like behave the way they do and so it's been very helpful to realize that instead of dehumanizing people that have wronged you you can just kind of go oh you have problems and I have problems and our problems weren't compatible um, I mean it's still devastating like you know it's still devastating um, I'm not saying I don't like still cry about it and stuff and I I um obviously like still miss like I was talking about um, how it feels like the matrix where you wake up and the person's not there anymore and you have to be like wait but there was a, there was someone here for for a couple years right and then you go I guess not I guess it was just a glitch in the matrix and then you have to like go about your life as if there wasn't another person there for two years um which sucks uh and you kind of have to like unlearn all of your habits that you had together. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, 
it's like so much later. I don't know why I'm still crying. Um, but basically, I think now looking, I was felt so wronged and now looking back, I'm like, he was right. Like we weren't working and I can't, I'm not mad because I realized that he did the right thing. Even if in the moment I didn't think it was the right thing. And I still like part of me is like, was it the right thing? But it was, it was the right thing. Someone had to, had to pull the trigger. Um, and it's hard to do and he was, you know, brave enough to do it. So you, but you just still kind of miss that person. Um, but like, it just takes time and they could be back in your life. Um, but yeah, anyway, so in a more general sense, um, I think it's, it's just important. What I've been thinking about more and more is it's important with breakups to not dehumanize the other person and to not go after them on social media and to not attack them. I mean, a big problem that I had with saying anything about this breakup was I didn't want anyone to go after him and blame him and I didn't want our fans to troll him. I didn't want anyone to say anything mean to him. Um, I really, I, I really wanted him to be protected and, and to not, and, and I still feel that way. I still think, don't, please don't do anything. Um, and you know, other people, like I see them break up and then I see, you know, commenters be like, oh, fuck that guy. Like he wasn't good anyway. Like he was ugly or whatever. And I just like, didn't want that. Um, because he's still a great person and a lovely person. And, and, and with a, any breakup, like if it wasn't abusive, you know, I just don't think it's productive to send people after them. Even if you're mad in the moment, you'll regret it, right? Because it's like, this happened in November and it's almost July and I still, I would have regretted that so much looking back. So, I think this video is too long, but basically, uh, I just wanted to say that if you are breaking up with someone, please remember that they're a person, please remember that they're human, take, you know, it may feel like they don't care about you at all, but, um, and that they're sort of off living their happy life, but a lot of it is like social media and faking it and presenting a happy face, which is kind of a little bit of what I did. And also, because you don't know what other people are really feeling, and also like, I, it might make you feel better to dehumanize them or to trash them, but I think it's the wrong move. Um, and I regret having done that in the past. And I regret, although in some instances uh, it was like abusive and, and that's okay. But if it's just a regular breakup, I think take some time and maybe write all the stuff down that you want to tweet and say, and then just like put it in a diary <laughs> and don't do it and look back on it six months later. And if you still want to say something, then say something. But if you don't, then don't. Um, and yeah, um, so that's all. I just sometimes, you know, want to get thoughts out and want to articulate things um, and have a place to put them. So I think this is good growth. <laughs> you guys have heard of growth. Um, and I think uh, sometimes it's hard to process a breakup until a long time afterwards. And that's okay. And, um, and I think you can always learn and uh, the other person is still a person. Yeah, and that's my message is that um, don't forget that people are people even when you're mad at them. And um, it's easy to lash out at them without looking internally and seeing what you could have contributed differently and what you could have done differently and I think I'm a better person because of this relationship so and I'll behave differently in the future and that's great and I hope he feels the same way and that's it I hope this like sunshine and happiness uh, outdoors and and this coffee and everything nice uh, mitigated <laughs> some of the depressingness of this video okay bye